See what happens when you're patient? You end up getting what you want. This is the news that we've been waiting on to, for the Ravens signing a former Falcons wide receiver. The Ravens have signed Devin Gray to a one-year deal. Uh, Ian Rappaport reported that he said uh, he was most recently playing in the spring league and also spent three seasons on the Falcons practice squad. Uh, now, I looked up Devin Gray. Uh, so he, he went to Cincinnati um, and his junior year was pretty productive. Because his junior year in Cincinnati, uh, which was in 2016, um, he put up 58 catches, 860 receiving yards, and five touchdowns. Um, his average was 14.8 yards a catch. Now, the following year, uh, his senior season, he put up less catches, less yards, but his average was a bit higher. So it was 15.9 yards per catch, uh, and he scored three touchdowns. Um, and then he's been with the Falcons on the practice squad for the past couple of seasons. Now, with them signing a, uh, a Devin Gray um, it's just he he's going to be, and it's no disrespect to him, of course. Uh, but it's just to it's gonna, he's going to be a camp body. He's going to be a camp body uh, because the Ravens like they have their receivers, like and they have a lot of receivers. And with them, I think this move was really a corresponding move uh, to them placing Dante Silencio Silencio. I again that last name it'd be messing me up. Them placing Dante, though, on injured reserve. This was just a corresponding move to that, it, in my eyes. Uh, because he was going to be there for mini camp and all that and for training camp and all that till the Ravens started doing their roster cutdowns. But with them placing him on injured reserve, then they wanted to make a move to where they could replace that receiver. Boom. Devin Gray, insert him into the lineup. Um, so... He'll join the Baltimore Ravens in what's been a very, very, very busy offseason uh, at the wide receiver position. Um, they, we're going to see what these guys are made of, man. We, we're really going to see what these guys are made of, and we're going to see what our coaching staff is made of, too. Because there's a lot on the line, and this has been a position like we were just having. Shout out to the fellas on Twitter because we were just in one of those little Twitter group chats where you're actually talking, not texting, but actually talking. I forgot what it's called. But somebody brought up that I think it was Jacob Vogel, but I'm not sure. But somebody brought up that this is the position. This is a time when the Ravens, they because we were talking about the possibility of Julio Jones. But they were saying that with the Ravens, like they have never been this crowded at wide receiver before with such high quality. Like, it, it hasn't been like this. Like, has it been like this ever? Where it's just like a lot of quality at the wide receiver position. Like, you have Hollywood Brown, you have Sammy Watkins. Then you have Rashad Bateman. Uh, then you have a Devin Duvernay, too. You got Miles Boykin, you got Proche. Uh, you got these guys that are coming on strong. You got Tylen Wallace now as well. So we, we got a lot of people there, man, and a lot of people that can do some different things. And then you got guys like, again, we mentioned Deion Kane, uh, Benjamin Victor, uh, and now Devin Gray, he gets added to the mix. So it, it's, it's very, it's, it's super crowded there. It's clustered there at the wide receiver position. But what these guys can do, what the guys can do who are not expected to make the team, what they can do is take up every single bit of knowledge that they possibly can. Everything. And really try to put their best foot forward and take it with them wherever they're going to go to next. Because you still got the practice squad. Just because you don't make the active roster, it's not all over there. You still have the practice squad. And then you still have um, some other leagues as well. Um, and you also have other teams too. Just because you don't make it on a Raven, that, that's not the end-all, be-all. There's still 31 other NFL teams in the league. Now, there, of course, are a lot of players, a whole lot of players. But one of the things about the National Football League that we always talk about, which is the most unfortunate part about it, injuries. Injuries. They happen every year to every team, and no player is, can avoid them because it just happens. So with that being said, this is why you got to stay ready so you don't got to get ready. Because if you come to this training camp, you come to this mini camp, you come to OTAs and whatnot, and you showing out here, even though you may not make the team, but you putting your best foot forward, coaches around the league, they speak. They talk. They have conversations. 
And again, Eric DaCosta, he mentioned it about a month and change ago. He said, sometimes we'll, we'll just bring in somebody for a workout just to get their name buzzing again. And we've seen exchanges where, where, where coaches have good relationships with each other. When it comes to trades, when it comes to players, when it comes to coaching staff hires, like with, um, with, with John and Jim Harbaugh. These guys been exchanging players and coaches ever since the uh, Jim Harbaugh was still with the 49ers. You remember Anquan Bowden, what happened with that? Yeah, I know. It was tough, but they, he basically gave him away. He's like, oh, yeah, I, I give him to my brother. No problem. No problem. So my point is just because this may not be the inroad for a lot of players, it is not the inroad of their NFL careers. They still have a lot that they can obtain. They still have a lot that they can chase after. And they still have a lot that they can go for. A, a whole lot. Now, it is very hard because every year you have so much turnover and you have such an influx of, of so much that's going on out there because every year you have free agency. Then every year you have the NFL draft and every year you have so many players that are undrafted and then you still have another wave of free agency. So you have so much that you're against. This is why they always talk about it's the one percent. It's the one percent that make it. And it's tough. It's extremely tough, but you got to keep going. You got to keep going and you got to keep your head up. So with uh, with Devin, we're going to see how this thing works itself out, man. Uh, we're going to see what ends up happening with him uh, and, and we're going to look forward to it. Oh, just to just to read off his uh, his statistics. Um, he's six foot. So he got some good size on him. Six foot, 192, 192 pounds. So wow, how's this guy taller and smaller than me? Anyway, that's besides the point. I'm not out there trying to play wide receiver. If I did now, Ravens, I don't, I don't know. They could, they could give me a call. If y'all want to give me a call, let me know, man. I come out there for OTAs and stuff, and mini camp and all that. Get in some, get in some shape, some better shape, whatnot. I don't, I don't mind, man. You put me on a defensive line. I mean, whatever you want to do, I'm with it. I just want to contribute. I just want to be a team player. So, um, but no, nah, shout out to him, man. Um, with Julio Jones, I know we spoke about him earlier. Um, I, I don't expect it to happen. I really don't. But at the same time, it's not over till it's over. It's really not until he is actually traded to whatever team he's going to be traded to. Then Julio Jones to the Ravens is still a possibility. Uh, but him being a possibility for so many other teams is still a possibility as well. Um, but I, I, I just, I don't expect it to happen. Like, and I told y'all this before, I would love for it to happen. And I can tell you a lot of reasons why it should happen, but I, I, I don't think it will. So we'll see. But even if it doesn't, let's see what these boys are made of, man. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all so much. Uh, and I appreciate y'all appreciating each other, too. Uh, love you. Stay up. Keep your heads up. Keep being positive. Keep spreading positivity to people. And we out.